after the border conflict between China and Vietnam, the Chinese military leadership saw that the request for a similar complex of BM-21 grad systems had to be fulfilled as quickly as possible. As a result, within a few years, the MLRS Type 81 was developed and released. This is a self-propelled 122mm rocket launcher mounted on a wheel truck chassis for increased maneuverability. The MLRS Type 81 has undergone several upgrades. The most serious version was designated Type 89 and was created in the late 1980s. The TAP-89, also known as PHZ-89, is today the PLA's main armor multiple rod rocket system. The main innovation in the design is the new chassis. The TAP-89 mounts a new type of 40-round box launcher on the armor track chassis of the TAP-83 self-propelled gun. Diesel engine chassis power of 520 horsepower locked up a war machine on the highway to 50 to 55 kilometers per hour. The Tab 89 launcher itself was completely borrowed from the Tab 81. A frame with a hydraulic lifting device served as the basis for four rows of 10 122 lot trips each. 40 rockets of additional ammunition were placed inside the casing in a special holder. The missiles were fed into the lot trips automatically at the command of the calculation. Thus, the Type 89 got the opportunity to quickly recharge for a second strike. Automated loader system has reduced the calculation of the combat vehicle to five people. For all of them, there were seats inside the armor hall. One hundred twenty-two millimeter projectiles from the MLRS of the Type eighty-one family. The mass of shells varies within sixty to seventy kilograms depending on the type of warhead. This may be conventional and reinforced fragmentation, cluster, or incendiary warhead. The standard high explosive rocket is 2.87 meters long and weighs 66 kilograms. It has a maximum range of 20 kilometers. An extended range rocket is 2.76 meters long and weighs 61 kilograms. Its maximum range is 30 kilometers. Vehicle is fitted with a digital fire control system. It calculates ballistic and makes adjustments in gradient or elevation depending on the vehicle gradient and slope. Target data is received from command vehicle or by manual input. Its armor provides protection for the crew against small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. It is also fitted with NBC protection system. Secondary armament consists of 12.7mm machine gun mounted on top of the cupola. The Type 89 served only in the service of the Chinese army and was not exported. Since its introduction in 1990, it has never been deployed outside China. Compared to the US M270 MLRS, it fires up to 40 122mm rockets at a range of 25 to 30 km compared to at least 32 km for the 12 heavier 227mm rockets of the M270. So let's punch a shorter distance, but more projectiles to the target. This other advantage of the Type 89 is the built-in reload system, allowing to fire two servers in three minutes.
for a total of 80 rockets.